Using an iPad with the Apple Pencil has practically become mandatory if you intend to remove 100% of the functionalities of your iPad, you can draw, write with your own handwriting, you can interact as if you were writing in a notebook, there are many possibilities. In today's video I will present to you the main applications on the market developed so that you can take notes using your Apple Pencil, or pencils from other brands, such as Logitech, Ugreen, Basius, among others, interacting as if your iPad were a notebook, ideal for students, for professionals who like planners, or who like to write, create flowcharts, for teachers and speakers, that is. You will be introduced to apps that are ideal to use on the iPad with your pencil. And an important detail, some of these apps are also available for Android and Windows. The first on our list, is undoubtedly the most famous of all, GoodNotes, which is already in its sixth version, is one of the most complete on the market, and is available for iPhone, iPad, Mac, Android, Windows, and even Chromebooks, and has a huge amount of features. Its structure is very simple. Here in this column we have the folders where you store your notebooks, and here are also your favorite notebooks. In this other part, you will have all the notebooks that are in the respective folder that you select, and further down, we have the marketplace, where you can buy templates, planners, stickers, and by clicking on the include button, you can create a new notebook, you can create a study set, such as several notebooks of a subject for example, you can import photos and images to write on them. You can create quick notes and audio reminders, in addition to being able to import any PDF file, can import a book, a planner, and work on it, take notes, make drawings, whatever you want. When creating a new notebook, you can choose the cover, select from several languages, useful for the recognition of your writing, in addition to being able to select the type of paper. The use of the notebook is self-explanatory, there are several types of pens, and you can edit the properties, there are pencils, there are erasers, everything customizable, you can draw geometric shapes, you can circle to cut out and relocate parts of your notebook, or simply change the layout, you can include stickers, you can include photos, text boxes, you can import templates, you can buy templates in the app store, you can type using the keyboard, and of the functionalities that I think, is fundamental for students in their classes, or for professionals who participate in courses, seminars, lectures, you can record the audio of the teacher or speaker and make your notes in the notebook, then everything is synchronized, if you put it to play the audio, good notes will show in real time what you wrote down at each moment, that is, a tool that shows exactly what you drew or wrote down when the speaker said something important. If you like artificial intelligence features, GoodNotes has excellent tools, it's worth checking out. GoodNotes has a free version, with some feature limitations, where you can create up to three notebooks, and has premium versions with subscriptions that start at $10 per year. The second app on our list is Colonote, an app that has been evolving a lot over the years, and that according to its developer, soon more news will be released. Its interface is a little different, with a top menu you can navigate between your notebooks, flashcards, and planners. In the lower menu, you can create quick notes, import PDFs, create folders, and access the settings, and by clicking on the include button, you can select the type of paper in your notebook, the cover, and templates, you can also choose from several languages. On the editing screen, as in the previous app, there are many options, various types of pens, pencils, erasers, and everything can be customized, it is possible to include text boxes, stickers, there is a translation tool, and you can also include shapes, photos, images. But the features don't stop there, you can record audios, you can put bookmarks, you can activate a timer, useful if you use the Pomodoro method, there is even a calculator, where you write the questions and the app solves them for you, it also has integration with ChatGPT, so if you like AI, you will enjoy this feature a lot. Colonote has a much more powerful free version than GoodNotes, with few limitations, but if you want everything released, the app has a premium version, with a single payment of $10, it is not a subscription. The next app is the main competitor of GoodNotes, I'm talking about Notability, one of the most famous apps for iPad, its interface is very simple, in this column you have your notebooks, and access to a gallery of templates, planners, stickers, and when you click on include a notebook, it already opens the editing screen, that is, unlike the previous apps that you configure the cover, type of paper, 
Among other things before opening this screen, Notability skips this part, you can configure this later, which can be a positive or negative point for some. In the top menu you can select pens, pencils, erasers and markers, there is a possibility of customization, but with far fewer options than the other apps mentioned, you can also include text boxes, images, record audios linked to your notes. Its free version is also very robust, with few limitations, and the premium versions start in plans of $8 per year. It is worth adding that it also has handwritten calculation resolution, has writing recognition, and artificial intelligence features. Of course you should not forget Apple Notes, Apple's native notes app, which is a very powerful app, and also has support for your pencil. Although it is not an app like the previous ones, but a complete note manager, Apple Notes has many features that these specific applications have, such as the possibility of selecting pens, pencils, markers and erasers, without great customizations, you can sign documents, you can draw, write with your handwriting, it has recognition of your writing, you can solve mathematical calculations, include tables, you can attach photos, images, various files, geometric shapes, you can import and write. In PDFs, you can insert lines and grids. You can type formatted texts, create task lists, and much more. It is 100% free, has a version for iPhone, iPad, Mac, and also has a web version that you can use on Linux and Windows. The last app on our list, is an app that has been very successful recently, is Freenotes, an app full of features. Its interface is basic, it has a side menu, where you can create folders to organize your notebooks, and in the main part, we have the notebooks, clicking on stationary center, the app offers a number of extra features, you can import fonts, templates, stickers and color palettes. To create a new notebook is very simple, just click on this extra button, and you can create a quick note, create a new notebook, import a PDF from your own iPad, as well as from the cloud as well. If you are going to create a new one, more options will be available, such as cover type, paper size, paper type, checkered, with lines, with dots, or in white, in addition to being able to customize the colors. When we enter the notebook, in the top menu we have some basic commands such as viewing pages, including new pages, viewing layers, searching, recording audios and in this button you can include photos, stickers, import documents, turn on a timer, useful for those who use the Pomodoro method, you can enable the pencil, change templates, change the direction of the page, export the notebook, and activate the dark mode also in the notebook, not only in the app, I really like this function. But it doesn't stop there, there are several customizations of the page, several writing options, you can even select the language you write, to facilitate the search, defined between the metric and imperial system, in addition to being able to configure gestures. In the side menu, you can include stickers, images, text boxes, activate the reading mode, and the coolest, you can configure your pencils and pens, the stroke, the sensitivity, the height, the colors, and this customization you can do in the style of ink pen, ballpoint pen, pencil, highlighter, and eraser, in addition to being able to create several custom types, that is, on the side you can have several ink pens, each with a different configuration, I thought this functionality was fantastic. And finally, you can also activate the ruler. By clicking here in the settings, you can create an account, to maintain a backup of your data in the company's cloud and synchronize between your devices, you can switch from dark mode to light mode, you can log into your iCloud for synchronization, you can activate manual and automatic backups, and have access to backup history. If you are a fan of artificial intelligence features, by clicking on this icon, you have a chat with AI, being able to do research, make summaries, solve problems, check grammar, have brainstorms, and this is where the company makes money. Note that all the features I presented are all free, you don't pay anything. So in this regard, Freenotes becomes a solid option for those who want a free note-taking app. Because it offers much more for free than its competitors, however, the company monetizes the artificial intelligence features, because you can test the AI three times, but to have more, you need to subscribe to a premium plan, with weekly, monthly and annual plans, in the case of the annual plan, it is around $40 per year. But which one is the best? I would say that the dispute for this market is very fierce, 
with each new version, these apps include a series of new features, to try to win more users, so the best of today may not be the best of next month, but considering the current features of these apps, I would be among good notes, because of its features, design, ease of use, synchronized audio recording, and availability on several different devices, and free notes. For the series of free features, customizations, design and ease of. Another great option would be Colonote, which has many features too, more customizations than some of the competitors, it is very stable, but in terms of design it is a little outdated. Today I wouldn't choose Notability, I think it's a little behind its competitors in features and customizations, although it's still very powerful, but having all these options, today it would be one step down. I also highlight that Apple Notes may be the best option for you, because it is free and integrated into the Apple ecosystem, and despite not having all the features that its competitors, it is a more complete note manager, which is in another category of applications, such as Evernote, OneNote, UpNote, among others. My suggestion is that you test them all, because they all have free versions, see which one suits your usage profile, and make your choice. Thank you for watching and until the next video.